Hi guys! So we're doing a review for you today. It's going to be on the Sebastian Crude Clay. This has been renamed and recrafted into Craft Clay. So this is a discontinued product, but it is the same, just under a different name. This is what it looks like. It's a sort of a matte grey, light grey clay. So that's roughly what it is on my hand, but depending on how much hold you want and depending on how much hair you have, take a bit of clay, rub it in between your hands so it almost disappears, like this, so you can barely just see it, but you can see a sort of sheen on your hands, and then just scrunch it into your hair. Now usually I only use it when I've curled my hair, or styled it in some way, and I don't often style it straight if I'm styling it, because what's the point in that? If I'm straightening my hair, I'll just leave it straight or anything and maybe put some twists in or some plaits or anything, but I won't need to use the clay. I think it's a really great clay for holding curls though, and it's really easy to use and just scrunch into your hair. And as you can see, it's really holding my curls today. The crude clay does not make your hair crispy, it makes it really soft, but still holds the curl because it's not a heavy clay. Well, depending on how much you put in, if you put on the right amount, it's really light on your hair. Okay, so if I read the bottom, it says, Raw Earth Modelling Clay for Hair. Create shapes with a real matte finish. So directions are, dig out and rub between hands, coat hair and sculpt away, or rough up roots for thicker texture. And it's got a grip factor of three X's. So that's pretty strong hold, I think. And it is great for giving your roots a volume boost if you want that. But my hair's pretty voluminous and I find that I don't need the extra volume because I've got quite pretty thick hair as well. Okay, so this has a 12 months expiry sort of thing on this. But I've had this since... I've had this for about 4-5 or five months now and it's been fine. I really haven't used a lot. If you see here around the edges, this is just from where I put my fingers in. But I think I've only started with it when it was about here, so from the end of my fingernail, if you can see that. I really haven't used that much because I don't curl my hair that often, but this is a product you can use every day. And I think it really helps with curls holding through the night as well. If you do your hair like this today and then you go to sleep and then you wake up it should still stay intact with the curl. So in this you get 125 grams of product and that's quite a lot of stuff I think. This is a pretty unisex product as well so guys and girls can use it. I really like the packaging of the way it is. I think it's pretty cool and I like the fingerprints that are all over the packaging as well and it really suits it. It doesn't look like a girly product at all so that's pretty good for guys and stuff and I love this bronzing colour. That does my eyes. <laughs> In comparison to other hair clays, I can't tell you because I really don't know. I mean there is clays such as Gatsby which is a very Asian clay and I haven't tried that but I know my cousins do. I know they're pretty brand loyal to that because Gatsby is Asian and they're like big on Asian stuff. I don't really mind. I think this would work for all hair types as well, not just Asian hair like mine. I'm trying to get hold of Gatsby from my cousins so I can compare them and do a review that way but I haven't been able to and it's been months now so I thought I'd quickly do this review for you today since I've used it. I purchased this on eBay because I wanted it to come fast. And I purchased this from a UK seller rather than someone from abroad so it would come quicker and sooner and the shipping charges would be less. But that meant that I had to pay a little bit extra. So I think I paid just under £20 for this, which is quite expensive for a hair product. But I'm sure you could find it cheaper if you want. Remember to look up craft clay, not crude clay, because it's not crude clay anymore. I don't really know what the new packaging of that is like either, but... This is pretty solid, but it's quite squishy, like, I can leave a dent in it if I put pressure on it, and you can just use a little bit, and as you can see, it doesn't show up in my hair when you rub it in, so it's pretty fine, and you can use it to style bangs, and not just curls, you can use it to have straight hair, and if you have sort of oils in your hair, you can use it to really mattify your hair as well. And it'll be great for teasing with, if you want that extra volume, so put a bit under your roots, like, 
scrunch it in and then and then just get your comb and you'll be able to tease a lot easier so all in all I think it's a really great product but as I said I haven't tried anything else so this is just my opinion of it compared to nothing really but it's definitely better than hairspray if you don't like that crispy feeling anyway so I hope you enjoyed that review and I'm sorry that it's not as in depth as it should be but that's all I can offer you right now that's my opinion so hopefully hopefully it helps you out and I shall see you soon bye guys okay so this has a 12 months so I'm trying to get hold of some of Gatsby from, and it's going to be on the Sebastian it doesn't look like a girly product at all but it can't why do I keep dropping it but my hair is pretty voluminous so I find that I don't need it too much and I think I've just ruined my hair. There's a stain on my bedspread.